First visualize a giant question mark. Make the question mark as big and colorful as you want. Second, visualize a giant pair of eyes, make them any color you want. Have the eyes over the question mark, almost like the eyes are part of the question mark. Next think of a new strange animal, half hippopotamus and half thesaurus book. The body of the hippopotamus is the thesaurus book. Make the hippopotamus and thesaurus book look funny. Picture a stop sign but instead of the sign saying stop it simply has the letter D on the sign. It's a D sign not a stop sign. Stick the D sign anywhere on the Hipposaurus. Now on top of the D sign is two ants on a date. Remember it is two ants on a date. Maybe having dinner at a nice restaurant. The last thing you need to visualize is a bag of blood for a blood transfusion. After all the D sign is stuck into the Hipposaurus and the ants are having dinner on top of the Hipposaurus also. The Hipposaurus needs a blood transfusion. He is very weak. Now you have all those crazy pictures in your head, it might be able to help you remember the steps to the scientific method. The question mark represents asking the question. What is wrong? What needs to work better? How do I do something? The eyes represent making observation and finding out as much as you can about the problem. The third step is the Hipposaurus. He represents the educated guess or the hypothesis. The hypothesis is written as If Then Statement The design will help you know that after you come up with an hypothesis, you need to design an experiment. The two ants can help you understand that you need to analyze the data. See ants on a data. The last is to draw a conclusion from the data you collected during the experiment. 